What a beautiful day on the rail farm. The Japanese flag and the Israeli flag. Youngsters here visiting their, their dads, wives, girlfriends visiting, other friends visiting. Playing cricket with the youngsters. Teaching the youngsters from an early age. No discrimination here. It's been eight years in the making. And thank God that saved a couple of lives. There's the chalets, the, some of the older guys sleeping. <laughs> what a sight to see people happy joyous and free from drugs. What a most beautiful sight. This is purely God-given land. This is absolutely amazing. This puppy. Tonight we're going to have a braai with our guests and our friends and those of us in recovery day by day. What enjoyment here being sober. It's unbelievable. And here we're coming up to Richard. Richard is our Springbok wrestler who leaves for overseas next in a couple of weeks' time <laughs> to represent South Africa. Rags to reach the story. Amen. And then we have Grant. Okay. Jared, how are you, sir? Jared, beautiful, beautiful. And here we have Richie's beautiful girlfriend, Joni. And there we have Graham, who's just become a father. Beautiful little Baba. And then we have Mal, who's about to become a mother again in about a month or two time. And then we got Eunice. That, that is Leroy's girlfriend. God. Gareth. Gareth, same thing. And there comes, the, there's the general manager, Kurt. Oh, that's me. That's Coke. And there's Michael. Coke and Cola. Michael's working in the kitchen, and there's his beautiful mother, Michelle. A lot of love on this farm. And there's Gladwin. Hi. Hi, Gladwin. Hi. <laughs> okay. Now I can just take you outside, outside our gates, where we take pride in everything we do. Who would have thought 15 years ago we'd be able to be free and to be sober? Sobriety is available to anyone. It's only those who want to get it. And this is the outside of our, of our premises, our boat.
brought into the water line. There's a wagon down the end there. Sad at the end of 2022. Move on, but I'm still be involved with rail. But I'll move on and take up another challenge in another country. A lot of people have played their part in in the place becoming what it is, namely Denise Levy and Miles October. Wonderful people. suffering from a bit of a drought at the moment. The water's very scarce. This is the entrance and this eagle was made by one of the guys who was here, Rion van Royen. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'll take you past, past the main house. Our resident doctor, Dr. Detoy, with uh, our general manager in discussion. And a sharker, a Belgian shepherd, a beautiful dog. <laughs> this is where it's about recovery, not about the money. Obviously, people need to pay something, but we need people to recover. <coughs> and that's what we go on. If nothing changes, then nothing changes. This is the back garden and our vegetable tunnel. Karen's initiative to set up the vegetable tunnels and she did so brilliantly. Okay. And this is the back lawn with our ducks. This is one of the minis we've done up that is for sale for Graham's workshop that he's got. And this is the other mini. And there's the next tunnel going up. But like I say, it is very, very dry. houses that have just gone up. These are bought by the people who are going to stay here for long term, forever. It's theirs, it belongs to them. And if they leave, then they just sell it to someone else who wants it. They're brand new. Uh, brand new. Here's our, our camels, I call them. Because I always get their name wrong. ones don't spit. They're very friendly. And here's our two sheep that we got. Unfortunately we had to get rid of the cows because of the drought. But we go in and get and buy feed for the for our animals all the time. Which is obviously a costly exercise but it's the way we treat our animals. So this is the house, the main house from the back. <laughs> it's one hectare of property. And this is the pond for the ducks.
So these are Graham's work that he's got, cars that he's got in, that are for sale. And anyone interested can just uh, contact us. This, this Mini drives. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful Mini. And then we go around here and there's more vegetable gardens. And the vegetable gardens are done mainly by Uncle Brian and Gladwin. Uncle Brian is in charge. <coughs> He's on uh, a week's leave with his family. And we miss him and he'll come back soon. So these are our gardens despite the, the price of water and the no water of the rain and that we still keep the keep our garden going and our vegetables garden going. Here we come around. This is the factory side of it. This is where we do our panel beating. Not here, obviously. This is the millies, etc. that we're growing. And this is where we do our panel beating, done by Graham, who's a qualified panel beater. We don't compromise quality here. And there's his board up. And as you know, I've said before, Graham has become a father about three days ago. This is our workshop. And this is another one of our vehicles, big Jeeps, that is for sale. And then we got a car that we're fixing up that belongs to us. And it's in 1400. And here's a polo that Graham just has to finish the the back, and then that will also be also be for sale. As you can see, the workshop is clean and spotless because that's the way we have to be in the new state that we are in now, that we're in recovery. And I'll take you to our other house, and I'll take you past my beloved dog who passed away. To me, the most precious part of this farm is That was made for him. <laughs> it was his birthday the other day. Tyson, a legend amongst addicts, absolute legend. Here's our bars, more flowers, and this is the double story that we got. And our gym that we have inside here. There's our gym, so people can come and do gym, etc., etc. And this is the the double story house. If I can just get the right picture. This was named after Lisa Lockett. God bless you, Wendy and family. And here is the double story. And it's in memory of Lisa who, who lost her fight. Never came to the farm, but lost her fight. What an amazing family they are. And uh, down here is where I buried my beloved Tyson and planted the tree. And his ashes are here. His ashes are in the tree or in the soil. And he's a constant reminder of what a beautiful dog. Here is Bar One, one of our new dogs. He's been around us for about seven or eight months. And he just loves freedom of the farm. <laughs> we took him off the streets, we paid a couple of rand for him. I'm looking for Pippa the pig, but Pippa likes to hide away. This is the rest of the garden, this is on the... And here is Taylor, Taylor has been with us for seven years. She's a beaut, she's got arthritis, but uh, she's a beaut, she's our queen. <laughs> and if you look at it from here, then we go to our bry area. This is the adjacent farm. We go to our bry area.
gangster plane. Basketball. Yes, Chris Morgan. Chris has been with us for almost eight years. How's it, Chris? Good. Lovely. Beautiful, Chris. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is the view. This is the mountains all around us. And look at the families all together just enjoying themselves. Now, thank you. Inside our house, this is the main house. Not the bedrooms, the guys all used to sleep in the main house. About to go on. Okay. How's it, Leon? This is one of our cars. And I do remind everyone we're unfunded, we've trusted God, and He has never let us down. This is the outside of, of the main house. Like I said, the guys used to all sleep in the main house and we had the one room. But now since we've got the chalets, it makes life a bit easier. And uh, I'll just take you in here quickly. May as well start with the Christmas tree. And then the couches. As you can see, I love Israel. Always have loved Israel and always will. We still got our Christmas decorations up. Okay, and we come around there. We've got the South African flag. Non alcoholic champagne that's not drank by us because non alcoholic champagne is for non alcoholics. Okay. And then the prayer we live by. And there's my mother's granny, 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 great granny, great granny. She, I think today would have been about 490 years old. There's nothing wrong with that. <coughs> That's the inside of the house. There are the ladies inside of the house sorting things out here. Our pictures on the wall. My beloved dog. One of the best gifts I've ever received was from Mr. Kearney, a Springbok rugby player who gave me a Springbok blazer. It's a lot of love here. We try to make it as homely as possible. Okay. This is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. It gets kept spotless at all times. And there's Grant doing the dishes. He should have done the dishes for his mother more. Then he wouldn't be here. But I'm sure his mother forgives him. And Michael also should have done the dishes a bit more for his mother. And there's Richie again. And here comes the chef, a la chef, Lee Jay. Okay, this is Lee Jay. Good looking Lee Jay. So we got everything waxed here. God's grace is upon this house.